In this example, we are looking at a population that is supposed to be in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, and we want to calculate the frequencies of the alleles. And we know that uh, there is a dominant color, uh, which is color purple in this case, uh, encoded by the uh, alleles uh, QQ, uh, and it is uh, recessive, so Q, Q, these two uh, alleles for the homozygotes would be uh, the recessive allele, and the color blue is dominant uh, in these, and we just simply call this uh, allele P. Now, what we know about it is that the two alleles P plus Q would add up to one. That is uh, one of the assumptions of the Hardy-Weinberg, that we only have these two alleles. And we also know that the equation for the Hardy-Weinberg, P plus Q squared, that's uh, also one, and that gives us the combinations. And we can square that, that would give us P, P, or p squared plus 2 times p q plus q squared. Uh, that gives also 1. And as q squared, that would be q q. Like I've indicated above, like that. So that is the equation that we have. And we know that the combination Q, Q, that is what we had uh, looked at. These are the uh, purple butterflies. They make up 43.6% or 0.436. And now we can, of course, we can easily calculate uh, the frequency of Q, because Q is just simply the square root of this 0 0.436. And uh, if we put that into a calculator, we get a frequency of 0 0.66. So in other words, uh, the frequency for the allele Q, for the recessive one, is 66%. So we've got 66% for Q. And uh, now we can use this relationship here, P plus Q, and find that P would be 34% for P. We can, of course, now use these numbers that we calculated and go for the heterozygotes. So we know for the heterozygotes, we have this 2PQ. So 2PQ. Let's put in the numbers. So we've got 2 times for P, we got 0 0.34. 3, 4 times 0 0.66. 0 0.66, that's for Q. And if we put that into a calculator, we get roughly 0 0.44. 8, 8, which would give us 0.449 rounded. So 44.9% RPQ are the heterozygotes. And for the homozygotes, um, the dominant ones with PP, PP, that's uh, again quite simple. All we need to do is 0 0.34 squared, that is the frequency for P, and that gives us roughly 11.6%. And now, of course, what we can do is we can add up all the percentages that we have. So we've got 11.6% for the homozygous dominant individuals plus 44.9% for 
the heterozygotes plus 43.6% for the homozygous recessive ones, 436 and if we add this up, this gives us 100.1%. Well, this 0.1 obviously is from the rounding that we have done. So we are getting 100%. So this is basically how you can calculate the allele frequencies if a population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.